we are here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show at the Prestige booth, and this is their X70 we're going to be checking out in this video. Uh, a lot to check out on this boat, really cool. It is right here next to its uh, sister ship, an X60, that's a little bit smaller. Uh, I got a video on that that you can check out as well. There's a few things we're going to use for comparisons between them just because of how they're set up. It's uh, actually a really good way to do it. So immediately we are greeted by this really large high-low platform. Uh, you could put a tender or jet ski on the back of that if you would like to. Uh, stairs there will form when you put the platform down. Um, this guy there, it's folded up right now. That's kind of like a lounge seating area, much like you see over there on the X60 model. So that's just put away on this one right now. Um, very similar layout across the back, stairs on either side. Um, but this side is going to be access currently opened up to the uh, crew quarters and engine compartment through there. So we will get to that. Uh, you know, we're gonna go in there right now just because nobody else is around. Um, so that'll be, that'll be good to do. Get, it, get in early, get it out of the way. So there's a little ladder coming down in here that's pretty awkward to get down when you don't have two free hands. But immediately as we come down in here, we are greeted by a washer dryer unit there. So that's pretty cool. Pretty much anyone would use that regardless of if you had a crew or not and you were uh, staying on this for an extended period of time. This is just gonna be the uh, little wet head area of the crew compartment. Not much to see, you got your toilet in there. Uh, if you stick it in here, your shower lives in there. And back around on that side is just going to be the sink in there. So we'll uh, close that back up, flip around, take a few steps in here. And in there is going to be the sleeping quarters for the guest cabin. I guess anybody could really do it. I don't know why I said guest cabin. I meant a crew cabin, excuse me. But yeah, use that for whatever. You could use it for storage if you don't have a captain on your boat. Uh, often that ends up happening in that place. And just because we're back here right now, we're gonna take a quick peek in the engine compartment. More of a, more of a room than a compartment. So uh, it's a little noisy, I'll speak up here. Uh, we do have a lot going on. Um, so straight ahead is going to be a uh, Cummins generator there. Hiding below that is going to be the uh, stabilizer unit below that. Either side will have your fuel tanks. Um, you're getting some uh, fuel filters as well going on there. Uh, when we step down here, we'll look to our right. All sorts of power system stuff going on there. Uh, flip around real quick. Uh, just some of the boat systems, as communications as far as like the electronic displays go are in either cabinet there, fire suppression of course. And this does have these uh, Volvo Penta uh, engines, these are the IPS 1350 versions. You can get an IPS, I want to say 1250 as well. These are good for a thousand horsepower a piece. The other ones are good for 900, so these are the optional engine that gives you a bit more power here. Uh, not too much more to say without getting way off in the weeds down here, so we'll keep this tour moving. Um, I know people do enjoy the engine room a lot, and I know I could stand there all day, but gotta keep things on the move. So we'll just close that door behind us, and there's a plane flying over, so I'm gonna speak up as I get out of here. Um, so yeah, coming out of the crew and engine access, come back across the uh, swim platform and we'll go up the stairs before we do that though I will note there are remote uh, joystick controls and stuff behind there so you can uh, control the boat from back here and uh, just gives you a lot more visibility since you can't see all that well from the helm back and it avoids having to rely on radio communications so this uh, version they have set up here um, they offer interior dining and an exterior dining this is the exterior dining version on this one and you get some seating around here, but you get that fixed dining room table there. They offer an interior version of dining uh, as well on this, which is going to be how this X60 next to us is set up. So as you can see, they don't have a large fixed dining table there, just kind of a small coffee table, if you will, on that side. Um, so that's going to be the difference between the two, and you won't have a main dining table inside when we step in there as well. Uh, when we come over here, a nice little uh, Kenyan grill. So there's what's going on there. 
Below it down here is going to be a refrigerator and just storage behind that other compartment. If we flip around here, behind that guy is gonna be the ice maker for this space. And this is alternate engine access. Obviously we can't get in it right now with the table and chair set up on it, um, but we did already come through the other way to uh, get in on all that. So um, we're actually, let me see, we're gonna go up top, I think. Check that out first. So nice, real wide, shallow stairs coming up the flybridge. Super easy to uh, walk on. Something really unique on this boat, that's your side deck right there. If you notice, there isn't one down below it, obviously, because that is there. So that's a really creative use of the space to still give you side decks on either side, and you get to use the whole beam of the boat down below, which we'll see when we get into the uh, uh, main cockpit but there's a lot going on here I'm gonna keep stepping back and stepping back and stepping back um, so there is a uh, sunshade over my head right now that made me duck you can see it waving in the wind it's really windy here this week but yeah lots going on up here so you have a whole other dining table up here um, then you kind of got a wet bar cooking area there and to my left and my right you got a seat like that on either side and a little coffee table in the middle of where I'm standing. So we're going to get on into the uh, flybridge area here. I like this gray color they use. It looks kind of black on the camera, but I assure you it's not. There is a retractable portion of that. You can open that up if you choose. Uh, let in some air, let in some sun. Really depends on what you're into. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into a few things here. And I'm curious what's there. Wow, we get another set of joystick controls from up on the top and aft. That's, I haven't seen that before, I like it. Um, you can really, like here, I'll just show you. Like, you can see everything all around here. Super, super nice from that position. So, very cool that Prestige has gone ahead and given you yet another option just uh, that aids in navigation and safety of the boats. Just a Kenyan uh, grill there with a sink. Try to close that without smashing my fingers. Just cutting board area there. You wipe, whatever, wipe it over. Um, hiding below it, you're gonna have your ice maker, some storage, and a refrigerator under there in that order. Um, couple items of note there, if my camera wants to catch up with me. There it goes. Um, just lights all the way around the top in there. Looks great at night, I assure you. And then a uh, really cool helm area here. Um, massive Garmin displays going on. I've seen boats of similar size not even have displays that big in the main uh, helm down below indoors. So really cool to see what they've done here and give you really nice uh, electronics um, package on board this uh, X70. All sorts of fun stuff going on here. I like the white trim on the steering wheel. That's, that's pretty cool. It's snazzy. I like it. Um, obviously just your traditional throttles and bow thruster and joystick controls, switches, all that good stuff. We'll step up pretty much into the helm here. Um, you're looking straight out. You can see all the way over the bow, so that's obviously what you want. You can see everything going on in the working space up on the front of the boat, um, which speaking of, we will go check that out here in just a moment. One quick item of note that I just caught my eye. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a speaker there. Um, so they got their, uh, the entertainment system built into well, but everywhere on this boat. But we're gonna walk down this super nice wide uh, side deck. It slopes down gently, and then you got some really easy stairs to get down here. And there is this uh, railing the whole way, which is about knee high that I can just reach down and steady myself with as I'm walking there. Got this uh, currently set up with this little sunshade on here. They don't have any built-in seating. Uh, you could put whatever seating you wanted here, just some loungers or whatnot, I would imagine. Um, there's obviously your working area on the boat. Get your anchor, your windlass, the road, the big old cleats. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of hard to see now because the sunshade is here, but you can see right up there, looking down the boat, they, uh, they're able to see basically everything that's going on there. Um, got a worker around the left side of the boat, but uh, it looks much like this side. So we're gonna walk up here. Uh, we'll take a peek down it when we go right back around and then uh, we'll flip right here. 
Yeah. Similar setup on that side, uh, just a little bit different just because of how they have it set up inside where we're heading next. So we'll walk right back down these stairs and take a left turn and go on inside. And it's awesome. Um, that's all I can say. I, I will close this door behind me. So I just love the lighting they've got going on in that. Uh, it's kind of a bar space there off of the kitchen. The TV folds up in there if you want. It folds down if you want to watch it. And this is just super expansive all the way across. All the way across. Really wide. That's the advantage you get of having those uh, the side decks up effectively running there. And if you flip around the other side, running along there. It lets you just use the whole width of the boat. But yeah, this is... I love it. Can spend all day in here, but uh, we're gonna keep it moving. Um, should note, uh, they have some of their signature styling that Prestige likes to use with these little LED strips in the ceiling. Uh, just some accenting there. I really like the gloss white ceiling. It just makes it feel really open with these extremely tall windows. Like they didn't, some of them will stop them like at the back of the couch, but no, they, uh, those things go all the way down behind the couch. So very cool. Just the extra little stuff like that does actually make a difference in terms of the feel of the boat. So yeah, like I said, that flips up and you would have an open uh, view of the kitchen in there. Um, we'll look at that real quick. The first thing I can't help but notice is the massive Miele refrigerator. I mean, the refrigerator itself, I'm pretty sure is just as big as my uh, refrigerator at home. And there's still a freezer below that. So that's fantastic. Just a glass cooktop there, the oven. I don't know if we flip around this way. Um, kind of hard to see, obviously, because that TV's down, but yeah, if it wasn't, you'd have a nice view out there. Uh, you could serve people off the bar here, whatever you need to do. That's gonna be your dishwasher underneath of there. And this is cool. I haven't seen this too often. You, you get a little, uh, the top on there, the, uh, with the vents in it, the vent hood, and I think there's some lights built. Yeah, there are lights built in there as well. And then there's just a, a glass backdrop there to keep stuff from splashing around. Uh, but if we walk around this way, like I noted, um, set up a little bit differently so you can get out of the helm area and go right up front there uh, to the bow if you're working on lines and whatnot. So I think that's cool. Um, and they still were able to use up, like I said, the whole width of the boat along most of the length of it. Just gonna be some storage behind here. Just have the vacuum there. And then we'll cut those that. Up there are just gonna be plates. And behind here, as I can tort my hand, are just some uh, little espresso and coffee and teacups, or whatever you wanna use them for. These are really cool, fancy little bowls. I like those, I'm not gonna go touching them. Um, and then if we flip around here, uh, that is going to pull out, and that is gonna be cutlery and there's just another drawer there and they are soft clothes of course even the big guy is soft clothes so we're going to step up on here into the helm area greeted by a little bit of seating but they have a lot going on here looks like a lot it is a lot but it's really not that bad just because you got all of it on the garmin displays you can set those up however you want uh really they're pretty customizable, so you can run different things on different screens, whatever you get used to running. Uh, very similar to the uh, what the uh, app, um, excuse me, the Flybridge helm looked like. You get your standard uh, throttles, you get your bow thruster, you get your uh, joystick control, uh, all, all sorts of fun buttons and engine information going on up here. But yeah, the uh, steering wheel, it seems like it's down there pretty low but it is actually pretty much just belt buckle height. Absolutely perfect for when you're standing here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can see right out there onto the whole uh, bow area. A lot of visibility, honestly, from here, especially look out that side there. And if you also look out that side there, you're gonna just be able to see a lot. Obviously it doesn't replace having somebody on the radio or operating from one of the uh, remote joystick stations, but Nonetheless, it's still good to have the uh, be able to see around like that. So there's uh, a couple ways we can go here. 
Uh, normally you might think the uh, owner's cabin would be down the stairs that are in the middle of the boat. They actually do something really cool on this and it is actually in the bow of the boat. So that's where we're gonna head next. It's a very uh, similar layout to the uh, 690 that Prestige also offers as far as the uh, cabins on the lower level. Uh, so if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and check that out. Uh, similar boats, but uh, kind of unique in their own regards, and they do their own things differently. So definitely worth checking out both of them if you're looking at something in this range. So as we're coming in here, greeted by this cool little uh, partition there. That's pretty cool. And uh, I like the little swoopy uh, LED accent, but um, that is going to be the owner's cabin here at the front of the boat. You get windows along the side there. There is one like that behind me as well. You get a really large uh, Vizio TV there, probably 55, 60 inches. I don't know, something like that. Um, around here, little uh, makeup uh, station there. You can walk forward into the uh, bow area and you get a walk-in closet space. You get a lighted uh, uh, hanging bar there. You get a safe down there. You get all sorts of shelving units there excuse me uh flip around here i always like to show these off this door looks really cool this frosted glass door with a little uh, pattern in it to the uh master head to the left is going to be a shower and it is of course a rainfall shower um, i'm six foot one and i'm staring up at how high it is in there it's probably close to six eight six nine all right so we come over here you got this mirror set up there uh, really cool, all sorts of fun stuff going on there, I guess. I like how it's split up. Um, but anyways, vanity set up there. It's pretty wide and open. You put a bunch of stuff there, get real cozy, all that. Love the colors, um, material they choose to do for all these. And it's just this flat inlaid sink. I think it looks really nice. Um, over there is just going to be your toilet and just some storage and whatnot hanging out on that side. So we're going to head out of here. Um, Let's see, we're gonna head back this way and let's see if there's anything else of note. Not that I could think of. Could go look through storage all day, but we're not going to. So we'll come up in here and we'll come back in a moment. We got some guests checking out the part of the boat we're heading to next. All right, now that those guests have moved out of the portion of the lower deck where the guest cabins are, we can head on down there now. Got this little a uh, twisted 180 degree staircase we work our way down it's actually pretty quite spacious one thing i'm going to note a lot of light coming in here you got white there that helps make it feel open a lot of times going down into the lower levels on some boats it'll just feel really cramped and claustrophobic so i think the sunlight coming in and the light color really helps out with all that coming down immediately greeted by a bathroom at the end of the hall we'll get there in a moment if we look to our right there's going to be one guest cabin there so you get two uh Two single berths in that room, and then we'll step in here actually, why not? Uh, show off a few things in here. You get their own TV in the room. Behind here, there's gonna be storage along the whole side there. And then if we come over here, release that, get a little bit more storage in there, close that up. And behind there, it's gonna give you a full length mirror. So we're gonna step out here Go down the hall just a little bit before we go to the bathroom and there is almost a twin version of that guest cabin we just checked out hanging out in there so there's two uh guest cabins with the single berths in them are going to share this bathroom at the end of the hall it is a wet and dry head so your separate shower is going to be over there um again about this size headroom is not really an issue for the majority of people and that stays true in this restroom uses that same uh, style of material and color going on there. Love it. Um, very similar window set up there as well with the mirrors and all that fun stuff. And then uh, just point out there is your toilet and the guest bathroom. So we'll uh, flip around here, come back down this hall, go to what is our right now. But real quick, I just want to point out the really cool LED accents there. I love it. Um, but anyways, this is going to be the VIP stateroom kind of in the middle of the... Uh, boat where you would typically find that uh, owner's cabin but uh they flipped it to the front which i think was really cool that they did on this thing uh, i think it's definitely a unique unique thing that i almost i think have exclusively seen here on prestige 
Again, you're gonna get that large Vizio TV. Hanging over here is gonna be just uh, your hanging closet space, uh, no pun intended. Uh, just some valves there in that compartment. Uh, if we flip around this way, just gonna have some storage and uh, another hanging, uh, lighted hanging bar at that end there. You do get a nice little whatever makeup table, office desk, whatever you wanna do on that there. And we'll flip on over to this side. And here is going to be the uh, bathroom for this VIP cabin, set up very similar to the uh, other uh, guest bathroom down here on this level where you get your toilet there. And you turn around and you get a uh, separate shower stall in there. So I guess you get a little seating area if you would like down there. But oh, another thing, got the cool door on it again, like the uh, forward owner's cabin. But it's about all we got going on in here. Uh, I should note that is it's about the size of a queen bed here in this one. So plenty of space to get comfortable and enjoy a good night's rest on this boat. As we walk out, there's more of that prestige style uh, on the ceiling there with the LED accents. Uh, coming up here, I can't help myself but the look. That's just gonna be some breakers and fuse panels hiding in there. And then behind that one is just gonna be more of the same. So that's all that. We're gonna flip around on the staircase. Hey, hi. Um, and instead of going outside, I'm gonna do things differently. We'll uh, take a seat here in the uh, saloon, salon area, whatever you wanna call it. So that was the Prestige X70 here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Really cool boat. Uh, like I said, I really love this uh, space I'm sitting in right now. It's just really spacious and that uh, LED light going on over there by the uh, in front of the kitchen along the bar, if you will. Really cool. Um, as a whole, I think they really uh, did some different things on this boat and really maximized the space that's available with the side decks being up higher than down at the normal level that gets them up and out of the way so you can take advantage of the full beam of the boat across it uh, where I'm sitting right now. Uh, just so much I could go on about, but uh, if you're interested in something like this, definitely urge you to check this out. It's totally, uh, totally worth it. Uh, really cool experience to see something like this in person. Um, and the folks over at Prestige would be more than happy to help you get into something like this. So uh, I'll leave that down below in the description so you can get a hold of them. But that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching.